people. It's Kaylee. I am over here at Many Hands Farm Corps just down the road from Book and Plow. Um, I'm here doing some natural dyeing. I've got my walnut dye pot heating up behind me and I've got this yarn that I'm going to dye with walnuts. Um, this yarn is from my sheep that live here. I'll take you over to see them in a bit. Um, but first we're going to pre-soak our wool. So I just got water in this bucket and I'm just going to open up my skeins and put them in the bucket. I really like black walnut as a dye because you don't have to mordant the yarn. So I don't have to do anything besides just wet it and the color will stick really well. Um, I harvested the walnuts end of September. Um, they've been sitting in a bucket of water fermenting uh, for a couple of weeks, three, three weeks, almost a month. Um, they got nice and moldy and broken down and now I'm boiling them in a pot behind me. And they're going to release their tannins into the water and Tannins bond really well to protein fibers, uh, which is what wool is made out of. So you don't have to mordant it. Uh, just let the yarn soak so the dye can really evenly penetrate. We'll get a nice, even, hopefully a nice rich brown color, uh, but we'll see. black walnut. When they're fresh, they're green, and there's a little walnut inside of them. But the husks are what give us the dye. You can see already, just from the soaking, it's a really dark brown color. It's starting to simmer now, I can see the bubbles. We're gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit, but we're gonna let this simmer for an hour and then we're gonna strain out the walnuts and add the yarn. There we go. We had a boil over, but we're doing okay. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit and let this just simmer for another 45 minutes. Okay, so. We've been boiling for an hour. We're gonna turn it off and go see the sheep. Okay, so here's the sheep pasture. Have some apple trees in there. I can hear Tristan. But first thing, we gotta turn off the fence. Okay, fence is off. here. This is Tristan. He's the friendliest sheep. He's got the coarsest wool. He's got something stuck to him. Love that. Come here, Lula. We've got two friendly sheep and two skittish sheep. They're all Shetland sheep, which is a breed from the Isle of Shetland. They're pretty small, and they're pretty friendly. I have three ewes. The one all the way on the left is named Betty. The one next to her is Lula. And the smallest one is named Ladybird. And then the boy, the weather, in the back is Tristan. He's kind of the protector of the flock. 
and they tend to follow his lead. They've all got really individual personalities. Lula's my favorite. She's super cuddly. And they all have really interesting and different wool, which is a pretty cool part of, uh, a pretty cool aspect of Shetland sheep. Okay, so we have our strained dye bath and we're going to put our soaked yarn in and you can see that awesome color. So I'm going to try to put all the yarn in so that we get a, an even color across all the skeins because I want to make a sweater with them. Okay, so here they go. We're going to add them all in. So we get a nice even color on our yarn. And now that the wool is in, I have to be careful not to let it boil too much or else the wool will felt. And I will ruin 10 skins of yarn. So I'm going to try not to do that. All right, we have simmered this yarn for an hour. I'm gonna let it cool overnight so it can absorb the most color and we'll check back in the morning. Here it goes. 